Because you're building up. You know, comedians, they build up. Yeah. Now I go up there and I smoke right out of the gate. Start playing the banjo, the guitar. I say, I know what you're thinking. I had no idea John Malkovich could play the banjo. <laughs> right on bass. Boom, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> I was fourth in Mr. Illinois in bodybuilding. That, now, that's a joke. No, fourth, fourth place, 1969. I competed in 1969 and 1970, and I was 23, 24 years of age. I still have muscles. Uh, yeah, I mean, you're, you're cut. You're cut. I've worked out in 45 years. How, how much did you weigh when you did that? 152. Oh, okay. So you weren't like the, you know, veins popping out of your neck kind of oh, guy. Oh, God, no. Everybody was doing steroids when I competed. Yeah, yeah. I mean, 1969, 1970, they weren't taking Joe Weed or protein stirring it up. <laughs> drinking it and being constipated for two weeks. Seriously. That's where the protein <laughs> rage comes from. The steroid rage? It's protein not the rage? It's the constipation. It's the constipation. It's the goddamn protein powder. <laughs> Fucking shit up a fucking constipate fucking elephants. Yeah, it will. Bunch you up pretty good. Yep. Fourth in Illinois, fifth in Mr. Chicago, seventh in the Mr. Mid Sage, fourth in Junior Illinois, Junior Chicago. Never won a trophy for bodybuilding, so I bought one and I got laid four times for that trophy. <laughs> best, uh, best 40 bucks or whatever I paid for it, 25, 30 bucks for that trophy. So did you like take that into a bar with you or what? No, I just showed it to girls because they had a house for my friend's girlfriend's girlfriend. <laughs> She was smoking hot, man. I, you know, she was good. She, was, she was hugger and you come. <laughs> I mean, that's that's smoking hot. I, yeah, pretty much, yeah. 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 Oh man. When you connect with a girl and you come in, that is a hot looking chick. I think. I don't think I've ever experienced that. I, I oh yeah, well you're young, man. I, sure I got you, time. I got time. Yeah. That is too funny. And I guess I got to know Arnold Schwarzenegger in 1971 at, at Muscle Beach when my my two friends we went to L.A. 1971 and he was not a he was not a uh, actor or a politician he was a bodybuilder. Okay, he's a bodybuilder, yeah. He endorsed Joe Weider food supplements and weight training equipment. And I used to tell Arnold, pound for pound, muscle for muscle, steroid for steroid. I'm bigger than you are. Steroid for steroid. Yeah, <laughs> you guitar, Stanley, light my fire on your guitar. Light my fire, light my fire. And run around the gym. <laughs> Him and Danny Padilla. Padilla? They just did something on a muscle magazine about Danny Padilla. I don't think I've ever heard of Danny Padilla. Yeah, he was fantastic, too. He was about as wide as he was tall in the shoulders. He's Jesus. all roided out. That's impressive. I wanted to meet my friend. My idol was a guy named Larry Scott. So I'm 5'7". I weigh 155. I have 15 and a half inch biceps. Telling people they're 16, they're, they're not. And Scott's 5'5", five, 5'7", five, five, and he weighs two, 200, and he's got 20 inch biceps. So it's all steroids, so. Oh, yeah. 20 inch biceps. Isn't it amazing, 20 inch arms? Are... <laughs> That's just, I don't know what I would do with 20 inch biceps. I guess... <laughs> Well, you might rip it right off. 20 inch biceps. We had a lady last Sunday in the cab. She's a scientist and a doctor. And we're talking about food supplements like krill oil and omega 3. Yeah, oil. how'd that go? Uh, she tells me, she says, Do you know who Sergio Oliva is? I said, Yeah, Oliva's Mr. Olympia, 1968 69. He's better than Arnold Schwarzenegger. She says, I operated on him when his wife shot him years, about 25 years ago. Because his wife had, they had both were on yeah. steroids with steroid rage. Yeah. She says that man was inundated with so many freaking steroids. It was actually inhumane to see that. Jeez. So if he's that way, well, what do you think old uh, Schwarzenegger yeah, is? Yeah, seriously. Okay. Well, I mean, if you see him with his shirt off now, it looks pretty gross. Yeah, he was pretty flabby and everything. Yeah. Yeah, because he, he does do roids, so he doesn't wear some of the muscles are gone. Just falling, falling down. Gravity's taking over. So, were you serious that you were going to quit? Like, is that just, just breaking the ice? Quit, quit driving the cab? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got all those hits on YouTube. I might see if I can go out to Las Vegas and, or, or even uh, to Nashville, because I do a pretty good impression of Johnny Cash for a guy that looks like John Malkovich. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Yeah, put yourself on a stage. Try to make it big for a few years. Yeah, my God. I think you should. Even my banjo teacher says, you have a natural cadence to do stand-up comedy. I didn't know what the word cadence meant, so I looked it up. <laughs> Rhythm. I, 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 don't, yeah. I don't have much vocabulary skills. That's okay. You I mean, can you can pick those up along the way. 
Yeah, I, I, I study words. I used to teach my daughter vocabulary skills. My daughter really dumb, <coughs> really stupid. But she's got a real good job though. She's a professional piano player in Los Angeles. She plays Hollywood parties. She does corporate work. She does uh, wow, and, uh, all kinds of shit. She's been working there for tw twelve years. Well, she's... Take this right into uh, this and take it right into the North End. I think we'll be able okay. To it for you. Yeah. <coughs> Latest impression I'm doing is Bill Clinton in a karaoke bar. Oh, God. Strangers in the night, exchanging glances, wandering in the night. <laughs> what were the chances? Monica Lewinsky came in here with Hillary. I don't know where I'm going with it, but I think the idea is there. <laughs> I think you got a lot of material to work with on that one. Yeah. I think you can go places with that. That actually Clinton may be too. your... Clinton's always going to be here. He's like Elvis. He's yeah. Like, he ain't going anywhere. No, that, that'll be your... Uh... It'll be your breaker right there. It puts you to the next level with Clinton. Remember Mr. Red, the talking horse? Yeah. Look at this. Well, hello, Will. My name's <laughs> Mr. Red. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> guy's totally insane. Yes. Wouldn't it be cool if Sylvester Sloan uh, was in the movie star when God reincarnated him and came back as a cab driver? Yes. Because he was almost a cab oh, driver. Oh, yeah. If it wasn't for the movie Rocky. Yeah, that actually would be... I don't know how exciting he would be as a cab driver, though. Wouldn't it be cool if he picks up all these hot chicks and everything? He's big up, hey, how you doing and everything? I think I picked you up the other day, didn't I? Yeah, you think you did. What's your name? Adrian. Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to pick up my friend over here. Is that your friend's name? Yeah, Polly. 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 <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I have to call somebody right now. Excuse me just for a second. Apollo, is that you? Apollo. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would. <laughs> uh, now I'm gonna take this right at, right into uh, North Avenue. I think. Well, are you then to go to Sheffield? Yep, yep. I'm a real bad kid, driver. You know, I I, I don't think uh, you're any worse than anybody else, man. These cab drivers are terrible. Half of them are so fucking stupid. I think how stupid these cab drivers are. They make three dollars an hour, and I think they're stupid. I speak English. I'm driving it. I must be a fucking idiot. <laughs> You guys got to make pretty good tips, though. Well, that's with tips. Three bucks an hour with that's tips? That's all you make. You oh, make come on. Three bucks a day, and that's what you make. Come day. on. No I way. I'll, I'll, I'll pay you lease and your gas and give you a $2,000 bonus, which I was going to try to buy another banjo. Like, I need another fucking banjo. <laughs> I, I get banjos at cost. But they don't do me no good because I don't, I'm not using them. Yeah. I, come on, I, I, I tip pretty good for tra cab drivers. Well, you guys I just know, get scammed a lot or what? No, no, that's what you mean. Get, get an accident and you lose 500 bucks in an accident. Boom, touch someone's car. See how much money it costs. Oh, uh, yeah. Get get it. Uh, well, don't uh, get a ticket. Accident. Go through a red light for 100. Well, now you're yeah, three days yeah. behind already. See, so you start putting it all together. I yeah, don't lie. I you kind of tell it like it is. No, I I, I got that. I yeah. was not questioning whether you lie or not. I just. Oh, I lied. It's too. really, really. Well, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Real. You seem like a pretty honest person. Yeah, I am kind of honest and everything. Yeah. Well, that blonde hair does you crazy story. Holy like, <laughs> shit, I'd die for her. God damn, I'd die for her. It's amazing, you're 16 years old and you still look at women like you have a chance. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> I'm actually afraid of that. I don't, <laughs> I'm hoping that one day that they just stop being appealing. Here's the, here's the worst happen. thing that ever happened in my life. I can't drink beer no more. <laughs> If I drink two or three beers, my recovery time becomes two or three weeks. <laughs> and that's all I ever had to live for was drinking beer. Yeah, of course. I can't fucking do that anymore. <laughs> I jack off from memory or total recall. Uh, did you want me to pull it? Right you right? can just pull up here if you want. I can hop across the street. Okay. Well, run your card there and we'll see.